All right, in example two, we have a pebble dropped into a calm pond causing ripples in the form of concentric circles. And so we have our pebble dropped into a pond and we have the waves moving outwards from the center. And so that means that, yes, indeed, I'm expecting an increase. So the radius R is going to be increasing at a constant rate of one foot per second. When the radius is four feet, at what rate is the total area of the disturbed water changing? So we're looking at a change in area. So it seems to me that the first thing that we need to think about knowing is the area formula for a circle. So let's write that down. Area is equal to pi r squared. Next thing is, what did they give me? Well, they gave me the rate of change, one foot per second. And so that's a change in the radius. The radius is increasing at a constant rate of one foot per second. So that change in radius is a function of time. It's dr dt. And that's equal to, since it's an increase, a positive one, and here are the units, foot per second. And finally, what am I supposed to find? Well, they want to know when the radius is four feet, at what rate is the total area changing? In other words, they want me to find dA dt. They want to they want me to find that. And when do they want to know about this? They want to know when the radius is four feet. So in other words, evaluate this at r equals four feet. All right, now let's start with our area formula. A equals pi r squared. And let's go ahead and find dA dt by differentiating. And so that's going to give me dA dt is equal to pi as a constant. We're going to differentiate r squared using the power rule. So 2 pi r. Now the chain rule, we differentiate r dr dt. Okay, and now step two, we're going to substitute. So substituting, we have dA dt evaluated at r equals four feet is equal to two pi times r times dr dt. And the r value is four and we're given that dr dt is equal to 1. So now we have 2 times 4 is 8 times 1 is 8, 8 pi. And my unit, uh, what are my units? It's a change in area. Area is in feet squared per unit time. The unit time was seconds. So 8 pi feet per second. If you don't include the units, even though you did all of this hard work, you miss half the credit on the problem, so please don't forget your units.